What's going on, Knicks fans? Welcome into New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We've got a loaded show for all of you today. We're going to touch on the latest rumors surrounding Jalen Brunson and the Mavs maybe not being interested in making a sign and trade happen. But first, the main course of today's show, Donovan Mitchell. The latest Donovan Mitchell rumors are, according to Mark Berman, the Donovan Mitchell watch for the New York Knicks is officially on. Something we've talked about a lot on this channel, but after the Jazz lost to the Dallas Mavericks in round one of the Western Conference playoffs, those rumors are starting to heat up. Donovan had some pretty interesting quotes following the loss to the Mavs, and we'll break those down in a second. But first, could Donovan Mitchell request a trade? The Jazz, they've struggled in the playoffs the past couple of years. They haven't been able to reach the Western Conference Finals with the Rudy, Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell duo. And so is Donovan Mitchell fed up? Is Rudy Gobert fed up? Things are starting to come out. And Sean O'Connell, who works in Utah, sports reporter, he said, I know I'm not usually Utah Jazz breaking news guy, but a source close to the situation has informed me that Rudy Gobert is at a him or me, referring to Donovan Mitchell point, and will demand that one of them be traded in the next few days. Doesn't feel like they will win a championship together. This is music to my ears, and if you're a New York Knicks fan, this has to be music to your ears. But something that's even better than that. Donovan Mitchell was asked about trade rumors following their loss to the Mavs in round one, and this is what he had to say. For me, I just want to win, yo. This hurts. Like I said, I'll think about it in a week and go from there. That's when he was asked about requesting a trade from the Utah Jazz. So here we are. We're entering, entering the second round of the NBA playoffs. The Knicks, they're in offseason mode. The NBA lottery is just a couple of days away. But could the Knicks start to pursue a Donovan Mitchell trade? They'd probably have to include that first round pick. I have a Donovan Mitchell trade idea we'll show you on later in the show. But let's be active in the comment section, Knicks fans. Let me know what you think. Should the Knicks trade for Donovan Mitchell? Is it time to go star hunting if you're the New York Knicks and Leon Rose? Is the time now to pounce? Let me know. Type T for trade. Or if you don't think so, you can go down in the comments and type P for pass. If you're new to our New York Knicks Now page and channel by Chat Sports, make sure you go down and hit that big red button right now. We're trying to catch our another NBA channel we have here at Chat Sports, 76ers Now, hosted by my guy Chase Sr. We're a little under 200 subscribers away, and I think we can catch them in this week. So let's do it daily free. Knicks videos around the latest news and rumors on this channel. That's what we do. We cover everything under the sun related to the New York Knicks. So if that sounds something like you'd enjoy, go down right now, hit that big red button. Let's catch 76ers now. When it comes to Donovan Mitchell trade rumors, I have been talking about it a long time on this channel, but I have some concerns after watching the way he and the Utah Jazz played in the first round against the Dallas Mavericks. I think Donovan Mitchell has to shoulder some of the blame for the lack of success that Utah Jazz have had in the playoffs. They didn't look good against the Dallas Mavericks. They fell behind in the series when Luka Doncic wasn't even playing I mean, the Utah Jazz, they've lost in the first round of the NBA playoffs three times in the past four years. And Donovan Mitchell, as the face of that franchise, as someone that is the leader of that team and has struggled, especially this year in the NBA playoffs, a little bit of the burden and the blame has to go on him. It's not all about how Donovan Mitchell didn't play well. There were some other players that didn't play well. But when you look at what Donovan did in the six-game series against the Dallas Mavericks, it wasn't good. Yeah, he averaged 25.5 points per night. He had 5.7 assists. But look, when you shoot 39.8% from the field and 20%, yes, 20% from beyond the three-point arc, that's going to be something that falls on your plate a little bit. Donovan Mitchell, he's a great player, no doubt about it. I would like for the Knicks to trade him, but I have concerns about it. And honestly, it wasn't just a lackluster offensive performance for Donovan Mitchell. The Dallas Mavericks... They were hunting Mitchell in pick and rolls, whether the ball handler was uh, Luka Doncic or Jalen Brunson or either, Sp either Spencer Dinwiddie. The Mavs' game plan and their offensive attack was to get Donovan Mitchell in one-on-one -on -one situations, and they won that matchup more times than not. If you go out and get roasted on defense as a part of the New York Knicks, Knicks fans are not going to be a fan of that, especially when you're shooting 21% from deep in a playoff series. 
when you look at what a Donovan Mitchell trade might look like for the New York Knicks, I think this is what it's going to have to look like. Hopefully you can give up Julius Randle as the guy that matches that salary and the big fish in that deal. I think you also are going to have to add two young guys on your roster. If I had to part with two, it'd be Cam Reddish and Quentin Grimes. And that's not because I don't think either can be great. I think Quentin Grimes is going to have a long NBA career as a 3 and D type of player. I'm not even sure I would make this trade on top of Grimes and Reddish and two first-round picks, but I want to take the pulse of everyone that's watching this show right now. If this trade were to go down, Who do you think would be the clear-cut winner of the deal? Would it be the Knicks because they got Donovan Mitchell? Or would it be the Jazz because they got Cam Reddish, Quentin Grimes, and two first-round picks? And one of those picks being a lottery pick this year. Get in the comment section. Let me know who you think wins this trade. Type NYK for the New York Knicks. Or you think the Jazz were to be winners? You can go down and type Utah. It is time to embrace R.J. Barrett as the face of the franchise for the New York Knicks. Let's show some love. Get yourself an R.J. Barrett jersey. I'm more of a jersey guy, a shirt jersey, than an actual jersey guy. And this is something that I'm going to order once the video is over today. You can get it by going to chatsports.com slash starj. Like star and R.J. S-T-R-J. They're $31.99 and they're selling fast. They got all types of sizes. Shout out to Fanatics for sponsoring today's show. I'll put the link to go and buy the jersey in the comments and description of this video. One more time, chatsports.com slash starj. Another player we've talked about a lot on this channel about potentially signing in free agency or even a potential sign in trade, that's Jalen Brunson, the point guard or the off-ball guard for the Dallas Mavericks. And the latest report is the Mavs are not willing to cooperate in a sign in trade for Brunson. There was rumors that came out over the past couple of days that the Mavericks were, uh, Jalen Brunson, excuse me, would have signed a four-year $50 million deal at the NBA All-Star break. But the Dallas Mavericks, they didn't even offer him the deal. And now Jalen Brunson's dad and his agent, they're saying no discounts. We're not taking a hometown discount. We want to go out and secure the bag. And the Knicks, if they wanted to go out and sign Jalen Brunson to the reported 20 to $25 million per year that he wants, they'd have to clear some cap space. Maybe trade a guy like Alec Burks, Kemba Walker, or someone else on their roster that has a high cap hit. But there were rumors that the Knicks could look to the Dallas Mavericks to make a Mitchell Robinson and Jalen Brunson sign and trade happen. But the latest rumors are the Mavs aren't interested in that. So let's go down in the comments. F Dallas. I hate Dallas. I hate the Mavericks. And I especially hate Mark Cuban. I'm not a fan of his show Shark Tank. It's a little bit cheesy in my opinion. And he's honestly the worst host on the channel in my opinion. So let's not show some love. Let's show some hate. It's okay to hate a little bit. Type F Mark in the comments if you don't like Mark Cuban. I hate seeing him on the sideline jumping around like he's Spike Lee. So let's get in the comments, spam it a couple times. Type F Mark if you hate Mark Cuban. When you look at what Jalen Brunson has done through the first round of the playoffs in six games against the Utah Jazz, I, there's a good reason that he wants $25 million per year. He carried the Mavericks when Luka Doncic was out of the game. 27.8 points per night, four assists through the first round, and he was extremely efficient. 48.4% from the field and 36.4% from beyond the three-point line. I like Brunson. I like that bulldog mentality he has. I'd love for him to be a New York Nick. The thing is, a week ago, I felt pretty good about that happening. Right now, with the word that a sign and trade is out the door, I don't feel confident that Jalen Brunson will be a Nick next year. So what about just letting Emmanuel quickly be the point guard for the Knicks next year? Look, you have a lot of young players with some high upside on this team. Is it really the time for the Knicks to go and strike and sell on all the assets that they've built up for a long time to go and make a move for a guy like Donovan Mitchell or Damian Lillard or De'Aaron Fox or Colin Sexton? I mean, look, why don't you just roll with these guys? I would love to see Emmanuel quickly, age 22, get a chance to be the starting point guard of the New York Knicks. He was great the second half of the season, and through the last 10 games, he averaged like 25 points per night and nine assists. He can be a point guard. Stop the hate. IQ, he can be a point guard. Quentin Grimes, just 21 years old, can be a legit 3 and D type of player with some athletic ability in the open court in the NBA. He's just 21. R.J. Barrett, we know what he can do. Shout out Star J, only 21 years old. He's going to be the face of the franchise for a long time. 
And then Cam Reddish. A lot of people that watch this show are big-time fans of Cam Reddish, and I see why. He has all the ability. It's just time for him to put it all together. He is still just 22 years old. And then our guy, Sloppy Toppy, Obi Toppin, 24 years old. We saw what he could do at the end of the season. So just trust the youth movement. Trust those five guys on screen. I didn't even have a big enough graphic to show a guy like Jericho Sims or Mitchell Robinson and a couple other guys on this roster like Miles McBride that I think have high ceilings in the NBA. Look, I know you want to, we're star hungry as Knicks fans. We always are. But sometimes I, I talk with Knicks fans and Giants fans. They say, we, go in, we have to do that. You don't ever have to do anything when constructing a roster. And I'm down right now to just trust the youth movement. Let the young guys play. Let's see what we have. Use your first round pick to go get someone that can be a player. And maybe we can, 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 can compete to be a playoff team next year. But what do you say? I'm going down in the comments. I'm typing Y in the comments section, section to trust the youth movement. Manuel Quickly, RJ Barrett, OB Toppin, Quentin Grimes, Cam Reddish, uh, Mitchell Robinson and Jericho Sims. I trust those guys. I like the youth, mem youth movement. Or if you want to go out and make a blockbuster trade for Donovan Mitchell, Damian Lillard, someone else, go down in the comment section and type S for you want to trade for a superstar. I appreciate everyone that's clicked on today's video. You're a real one. We thrive off audience interaction. That's what makes us here at Chat Sports different. So give me a follow on Twitter. Let's talk Knicks hoops over there. Slide my DMs open. You can mention me. But let's talk Knicks hoops at Marshall Green underscore.